it's holding, Captain. Damn well better, Raul. It's a pain in my rear to lug this thing out here just because of a little drought. And as our grief falls flat and hollow upon the billion-blooded sea, I pass upon Syria's inward-breaking shoals, rimmed with white-legged, white-bellied, rotting creatures. It's Bukowski, you idiot. Huh? <laughs> Shut up and suck on that. sunk into this thing. Okay. Hurry! of another megalodon shark off the coast of Egypt. Sources say a tugboat was thrown across the Sahara Desert. Markets around the world plunged today as the UN called for a worldwide boating ban until the megalodon can be stopped. All trade routes in the Mediterranean were closed after the attack to the port of Alexandria in Egypt. Avistamenti dello sciallo dello squalo megalodon sono stati accertati da Malta allo stretto di Gibilterra. And mentre il mondo cerca di riprendersi dopo la tragedia greca, water temperatures have steadily risen all across the world, and climatologists believe that possibly deforestation and industrialization of emerging nations is the main root cause of the problem. As shipping lanes worldwide come to a standstill, the economic impact is not just being felt on a global scale, but on a local level as well. Fear has gripped the world as intercontinental travel by both air and sea has come to a grinding halt in the aftermath of the brutal attack in the Mediterranean. How's it going down there, baby? We have a couple of leaks, but nothing out of the norm. Okay, keep an eye on your pressure readings. I'll be fine. Everything looks good so far. Is this submersible handling like it should? It looks like a shark, but it certainly doesn't handle like one. Stopping descent at 1,003 meters. Copy that, Nero. Green across the board, steady as she goes, my friend. It is beautiful down here. <laughs> is that a genuine comment or something your word bank generated? I appreciate symmetry, Rosie. I like that in my men. Did you hear that, Jack? Yeah, Nero loves his geometric figures. And according to the topographic scans, we are right where we were yesterday. You're not smoking again, Jack. Uh, well, that's a negative, honey. You know I gave all that up. Let's try some rolls, yes? Put you guys through your faces. Agreed. 60-degree roll, Nero. How's that sound? Remain buckled in, Rosie. Got it. <laughs> that off the to-do list. When we do meet the Megalodon face to face, it's gonna be a lot tougher than that. I am ready if you are, Rosie. Speaking of the Megalodon, 
The Coast Guard is reporting a flotilla of Red Cross support ships were sunk by the Meg in the mid-Atlantic. Get this. The injured they were transporting were bleeding into the water. Guess that'll do it, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. It's the seventh attack in a week. If Engelberg doesn't hurry up, our help won't mean a damn thing. Rosie, I am detecting something. Oh, baby, you've got company. They are Arcatuthis and Physoteris. Two of them, Rosie. And it looks like they want to cuddle. Hmm, I might be getting a little claustrophobic in my old age, but I am not appreciating this cuddle session. Rosie? Rosie, watch your whole pressure. The hull will be crushed if they hold on much longer. Rosie, quick. Deploy the eel skin. Nero, initiate eel skin. Certainly, Rosie. I'll leave the percentage up to you. Just shake him off as fast as you can. Watch your battery life, Rosie. You still have to climb up out of there. It's not going to take that much to scare them off. I hope. Call you, Nero. Deploying eel skin. Voltage was at 34%, Rosie. Store that info for later, Nero. We're gonna need as much data as we can get. Certainly, Rosie. Not bad, baby. Not bad at all. We're getting pretty good at this, huh? Let's not get cocky. That's when things always seem to go sideways. My dad always said that... Rosie, get back up here. They need us back at dry dock. It's ready. All ready? All right, I'm ascending. Copy that. Zero median sea level. Okay, we're up. Research vehicle, Mecca Mark 1 is on board. All stations secure. Doctors. Admiral Engelberg. It's ready. Dr. Turner, Dr. Gray, time to go to work. So, Admiral, everything up to spec? For the most part, we've had to make a few changes due to time. Let me give you the nickel tour. Okay. The teeth. Intermediate alloy steel. This is an upgrade from the original design. We were able to increase the compression strength to 40 KSI. 40? We were hoping for a rating of 27. It's gonna have a hell of an overbite. The pectoral pods are now fitted with a complement of UGM-133 Trident II ballistic torpedoes. Really? Nuclear? Nah, UN-approved non-nuclear warheads. We couldn't get the OK to go nuclear, but we're trying. Great. Oh, it is great. That means this puppy can defend itself without having to ruin our oceans with nuclear waste. Oh, crap. Here we go again. What do you mean you would go again? I, I mean, I just want to say that... You know, I'm not getting on my sauce. It's like being but, a vegan. Look, but okay. if I was... There's a time and a place. You know, radioactive material was banned by the London Convention of 72, then again in 73. The Admiral is riveted with your fascination with the obvious, but there really isn't the time I'm to say it. There's saying. a time and if place. If I may continue, the, the entire vessel is still overlaid with the eel skin barrier, but... The fins and pectoral edges are now reinforced titanium. What about the rest of the exoskeleton? The rest of it is stainless steel, with a 210 KSI pressure rating. Yeah, it's the best we could do under the circumstances, but it'll still be strong enough to go way beyond the standard submarine crush depth. It's amazing. And it's ready to launch. It's what? It, it, it's what? I, I haven't even installed Nero. This thing hasn't even had sea trials. 
We can have Mark One shipped out to us. We don't have time to waste in dry dock. We've got to get moving on this. We've lost enough lives already, including my brother. I don't like to lose. I'm ready. Excellent. We'll prepare to ship out immediately. Oh well. Ready. We Rosie. Rosie. Can we talk about this? Wrap it up, boys. Heading back to Mori. Harbor Master's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what we brung him. Bring in the main line. We're heading home. Approach you for a couple of minutes about the boating ban and how it's going to affect your livelihood? Yeah, sure. Sorry. We are here at Botany Bay with a local fisherman. So, now that the UN boating ban is in place, how do you expect this to affect your livelihood? There really isn't anything to talk about. I mean, the ban's already set in place. There's nothing to deal with. I mean, a lot of us at first were just ignoring it and going out anyway. You weren't scared of the Megalodon? First. We were more scared of losing our ability to put them food on that table and losing our homes. Our biggest fear was getting a ticket from the Coast Guard. So you were more worried about your family than you were about your own personal safety? Of course we were. Well, I was. After today. Did you know someone on the boat that was destroyed today? Yes, I did. My son was on that boat. Destroyed by that shark. That's that's horrible. We here at the network are so sorry that this We happened. have enormous amount of technology on our side. Can't the UN or the Americans, even our own damn navy, do something? Something to stop this this creature? Look, I'm sorry, I just can't do this anymore. Sir, what I'm sorry. Fine. This, this is a tragedy that is being felt all over the world, and I am sure that our military is doing the best they can to solve the situation. This is Sandy Cook, Australian Network News. Wow, you're going to broadcast the word for sure. Shut up, you ass. <laughs> You can't be serious about going down there without Nero in an untested submersible. I can pilot this, Jack. I know you can. You're amazing. You could pilot a Rubik's Cube, but that doesn't matter. Anything goes wrong down there. Torpedo misfires, and I'm not a wife. And I gotta tell you, I'm getting kind of attached to her. We're running out of time. The Megalodon is back. This isn't about Olivia, is it? Some misplaced sense of guilt because you feel responsible for what happened? This is what I do. I'm good at it. I can pilot this Jack. Not alone, Rosie. No, not alone. I need you there. You're my engineer. time the Megalodon has returned. <laughs> Sir, you're going to want to take this. This is Admiral Engelberg. Admiral, this is Dr. Emma McNeil. Hello, Dr. McNeil. How may I help you? Well, I'm calling to help you, actually. We've analyzed the data based on prehistoric feeding and migratory patterns, and it looks as if our friend is going to be hanging around for a while. 
Understood. It's an instinctual thing. I, I don't think he's gonna go anywhere without a mate. You're gonna have one really aggressive beast on your hands. Beglet on contact, 50 meters. For the hit, sir. Shark, positive contact. Cancel. Get me aligned, Admiral Eichelberg. Now. This reminds me of that weekend in the Maldives. Remember that? <laughs> the oysters and the fresh pear nectar. We're towing a giant metal shark. And this reminds you of the Maldives. Not the shark, silly. You. Your hair blowing in the wind. The sun shining off your skin. My dad always said that I was the, the USS man. Virginia. Just made a positive ID of our fish. We're on a heading to rendezvous with them now. But Nero isn't here yet. I don't need to pilot with Nero. I'm fine. The country owes you a debt, Doctor. Don't thank me just yet. Admiral, we're over the target zone now. Showtime. See nothing on the transponders or the parametric. Maybe we missed it. Maybe we didn't. Damn, that thing's as big as the real one. Taxpayers are gonna bricks if this doesn't work. Sir, it's the Megalodon. Arm torpedo tubes. Flight two one. something. Copy that. We see it, Rosie. It's one o'clock. It's huge. Shifting. Rotating 20 degrees, baby. I don't see anything. Mega has dropped 25 meters. Second two, this is Captain Zane of the USS Virginia. Ready to fire. Give me a moment, Captain. Let me tag the Mega first in case he escapes. Arming tracking projectile. Targeting system activated. Mega's been tagged. Copy that. GPS signal is transmitting. In the event it gets away, Rosie, we can keep up with it. Captain Zane, what do you say we put a dent in this bad boy? Yes, ma'am. Sir. Showtime. Get clear, Rosie. We fired on him. Getting clear. Returning to fire now.
offline. They took out the sub. Damn! What happened out there, guys? Jack, the USS Virginia's not responding. Did something happen? They took out the Virginia, Rosie. I'm locking on. Firing. but it's not going to be pretty. Meet you up top. I, I couldn't. I couldn't shoot and aim at the same time. Okay, 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 stop, please. I had friends on that ship. 436 I'm lines. so oh, sorry. I, I, I wish that I... Could. I need positive results. Admiral, you want results? Then let me take some time and install Nero. How much time do you need? Not much. All I need to do is rip it out of the Mark I and introduce it to the hard-coded system of the two. Maybe we lose a day. Look, there's a GPS tracker on it, so we never lose sight of it. Fine. Do it. Doctor, name, continue, yesterday, tomorrow. Hello, Jack. Jack. Nero, how you feeling, buddy? I am operational. Ah, uh, it's good to hear your voice, buddy. You're not going to like that, are you, Jack? Jack? Of course I'm not gonna like it. Listen, buddy. Run a system cycle for me, okay? Running diagnostic. Where is Rosie? Rosie's up on the cruiser monitoring a GPS signal. I am also picking up the GPS signal. Moving fast. Well, good. Keep on it. That means your scanners are fully functional. All systems are operating within spec. Perfect. Diagnostic complete. I am in control. Okay, great. Listen. You know, I got a uh, good news, bad news situation for you, Nero. The good news is that you and Rosie are gonna have a lot more machine to play with. The bad news is, this time is for real. You can count on me, Jack. I will take care of Rosie. You better. And, uh, Nero? Try to keep in mind, Rosie's taken. unaccounted for on the AR Event Horizon after today's Megalodon attack. Rescue crews are on site and a recovery mission is still underway. If they are unable to cap the leaking well, this pristine environment will be at risk from an ecological disaster, the likes of which we have not seen since the Gulf of Mexico oil spill in 2010.
here. I'm staying afloat. And my screens read normal. How you feeling, Nero? All systems are 100% online. It's good to have you back, buddy. What do you say we take these sharkies down once and for all? Certainly, Rosie. Vital signs are good. My heart rate's a little high, but can you blame me? We'll go get it. And good luck. Descending, Rosie. Buckle up, please. Yeehaw. Warning. Warning. Rosie, do you read me? Nero, what's happening? Rose, come back. Nero, can you hear me? Rosie, do you read me? The water pressure is affecting my systems. System rebooted. I hate technology sometimes. Rosie, come back! I'm here, copy me. Got you now. What happened? I don't know, systems cramped, but we're green across the board now. Well, don't do it again. Give me a heart attack or something. Blame Nero. Ascending to 1,000 meters very slowly. Chet, tell me you have more than backscatter. Nothing yet, sir. Well, according to GPS, you're right on top of it. Chum as you go, over. Chumming now. Chum stores currently at 100%, Rosie. We're at 1,000 meters. Nothing on sonar. Yeah, copy that. Nothing here either. Nero, extend sonar range another 25 meters. Okay, Jack. Range extended. Booyah! I knew it was out there. Positive ID on Megalodon. Yeah, but where is it? Rosie, it's moving fast. It's right on whoa, top. Whoa, 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 I see it, I see it. Time to go to work, Dr. Gray. Yes, sir. Nero? I have the stick. Arming torpedoes. Targeting system activated. Firing. Oh no, do you see what I see? That's bad. That's very bad. Someone get me a sat phone. Now! It says they're still around me, but I can't get my eyes on it because of the oil. What have you got, Nero? I will steer out of the oil cloud. Copy that. Get out of that stuff. Try and get a clean shot, but do not hit those pipes. I repeat, do not hit those pipes. I can see it. It's on my tent. Jack, it's turning around. I can follow it. But what about this leak? Oh, yeah, fine. Well, send someone then. When are they going to shut down that pipe? They can't. They can't? What do you mean they can't? As in not possible. Wider. Disregard any collateral damage, Dr. Gray. Your mission is to kill that shark. Are they gonna cap this thing? Eventually. Right now, you have to follow the Megalodon. Rosie, they can't shut it off. What? They have to cap it manually. There's no shutoff valve? Miracle of modern engineering. Listen, Apple, we gotta do something. No. Negative. Your orders are to close on the target. Sir, if she does nothing, then potentially 42,000 gallons of unrefined petroleum will leak out into the ocean, causing irreparable damage. Dr. Turner, we don't have time to put in a call to Greenpeace. Nero, what do I mean when I say irreparable damage? You are referring to toxic contamination, petroleum hydrocarbon embryo impairment, biochemical immune system damage to sea life, coastal erosion, not to okay, mention... Okay, okay, enough. Can we do this quick? Jack, what should I do? You'll have to pressure seal it somehow, Rose. And you'll have to hurry. Okay, I got something. Yeah. We're gonna sit right on top of it, you with me? Okay. 
I understand, Rosie. Base, this is Mecca. I've managed to cap the leak. Yes! Great job, baby. You too, Nero. Let's get our head back into the game, Rosie. We got us a big ass fish to catch. Jack, point us in the right direction. We're ready, right, Nero? Right, Rosie. Here we go. This is Dakota 1007 declaring a state of emergency. Repeat, Dakota 1007 declaring an emergency. Keep trying. I've already diverted into restricted airspace. Dakota 1007, this is Guam Control. You've entered restricted airspace and need to alter your course immediately. Guam Center, we have a stuck fuel valve. And we need to stay on this headed to RAR. RAR Airport in the Cook Islands. I repeat, we have a fuel emergency and we need to continue. That's the negative, Dakota 1007. Alter your course immediately. They are right over the last reported sighting of the Megalodon. Dakota 1007, can you alter your course to 280 and head to IUE in the Niue Islands? Negative, Guam Center. Sir, a commercial 727 has entered restricted airspace. It's right in range of the Mega. Rosie, can you do something? On it. two dots that just appeared by 1007. Dakota 1007, can you verify two bogeys at your flight level? What the hell? Oh, my God. Dakota 1007, I say again, can you verify two unidentified objects at your flight level? The bogeys are gone. Dakota 1007. We've altered course to 280 and route to IUE. Screw the fuel reserves. Now that was a solid hit. We've got him scrambling now. He is moving fast. Two o'clock position. I'm right on top of him, acquiring target. Visual. Where is it, Nero? 
11 o'clock position, 20 degrees up. I'm on it. I'm switching to auxiliary boost. I want to catch up with him. We're going down into the trench. Rosie, is it wide enough? If it can fit, then so can I. We will fit, Rosie. I have the stick. I got it. He won't get away from me that easily. Wait for lock confirmation before firing, Rosie. He's injured, but he isn't slowing down any. We'll try again. Warning. Warning. Hull damage 10%. Oh, that's too close for comfort. I'm gonna get this son of a bitch. Rosie, I do not have a lock. I do. Two ships, multiple casualties at the damn cluster. Come on, Rosie, wake up. What happened? It appears as if they were caught in a landslide, Admiral. We lost contact. Rosie, over. Rosie, do you read me? Talk to me, Jack. I've got nothing. The damn thing seems to be in one piece, but I can't get a signal. Admiral, she's trapped down there, and all I can do is sit here and scream her name. Piece of crap. And Nero? He's not responding. System restore in progress. Rosie. Rosie. coming back online. Nero, can you get back to the surface? Negative. I seem to be wedged, Jack. No? Oh, she's wedged to hell in the damn canyon. Nero, maybe try your boosters. Booster fuel is low. Sir. Cannot provide sufficient force to dislodge. Message from the James Stewart. She's 40 miles out and they're responding to our request for assistance. Good. Tell them to double time it, Pollock. We still have men in the water. Yes, sir. It's mega sharp, sir. What about it? Well, it... the fighters, but we're gonna try to get as many up there as we can. Deck is shaking like we're riding the tidal wave. We're not gonna be able to launch like this. Well, we need fighters in the air, so we're gonna try. It's suicide. You're kidding me, right? We're just trying to be cautious. Man up and do your job, sailor. Either of you guys have any problems launching right now? No, sir. You sure? Because if you do, I swear, I'll put you on an inflatable dinghy with a bottle of water and a can of beans and send you right back to your mother's. No, sir. No, sir. Good. Get these jets in the air. Yes, sir. Jack, I have a solution. Okay, Nero, what do you have in mind? What's it 
gonna do? Probably something really stupid. Now, what are you doing? Calculation in progress. Trust me, Jack. Lock me out. You can do that? Yeah, you can do that. You know, you are so lucky that worked. My calculations were correct. Ascending now. Well, hurry up. I want to kiss my wife. Sir, Captain Thrace. Captain? Admiral, we're under attack. It's the Megalodon. Wait, wait, you're saying that it's uh, an unprovoked attack from the Megalodon? That doesn't make any sense. There has to be another reason the Meg attacked him. I mean, something had to draw the shark in. I mean, sure, the fish is hungry, but it's not gonna randomly attack an aircraft carrier. Captain Thrace, uh, uh, what was your ship doing before the shark attacked? We were testing our high-frequency emitters. Testing high-frequency emitters. Still ongoing? Tell them to stop. That's what pissed the thing off. Uh, Captain Thrace, it's the emitters. Stop your testing immediately. Yes, sir. Let all emitter signals across the board now. Aye, sir. Emitter testing canceled. That worked. This James Stewart just went down. All hands lost. Well, that puts us in quite a predicament, Doctor. Because that frigate that just went down carried the only other two pilots we had trained for this mission. If Rosie's out of Rosie the... is in no condition, Admiral. We may lose a couple hours, but who cares? Jack. Jack. Yes, Nero. I can pilot it alone. That is what I was created for. Eventually. You can't go it alone right now. Jack, I can do it. The Admiral is correct. We cannot lose time. The Megalodon will be nearing populated areas. The casualty account could be massive. Can you take this thing out on its own? Theoretically. We have the kill switch. Theoretically. Nero, the Mecca is yours. Would you take your orders from me? Certainly, Admiral. Thank you. Come on, baby, let's get out of here. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Look at the camera, Olivia. Mommy, I don't feel good. It's okay, baby. Daddy's here. I love you. I'm sorry, but your daughter is very sick. I love you so much. It is always difficult to lose someone so young. We can make it through this, baby. Rosie! Rosie! Come back to me, baby. <laughs> of my life, that's all. We gotta get back out there. It's too late, baby. He's gone. They're gone? What do you mean, gone? Nero has control. Are you kidding me? He hasn't been debugged. It was Engelberg's call. He didn't feel like you were up to it and didn't feel like waiting around for you to recover. Uh, no, I was nothing. I just was jostled. 
And he was a little more than Jocelyn, baby. He'll be fine. That's what I'm worried about. Attention all crew members. The Mecca is approaching the steward's wreckage. but cannot tell which, if any, is the Megalodon. Can't discern the Megalodon from the wreckage, sir. Just a moment. Just a moment. better, Admiral. It could make all the difference. What are you looking at? I poured it out. I'm not looking at you, baby. Yeah, yeah. So you feel up for some traveling? Maybe. Why? Emma yeah, McNeil wants to see you. I'm free. Well, good. I'll have him prep a chopper. Dr. Gray, thank you so much for hurrying over. Dr. McNeil, it's my pleasure. Engelberg said you had something urgent you wanted to show me. I do indeed. To put it quite simply, I've managed to track the Meg, and I believe I know exactly where it's heading. I thought GIS data was out of the question. Geospatial technology was out of the question, yes, that's true. Because of the depth the Megalodon swims at, we're not able to get thermal or terrain hits without eyes on the ground. But I did notice something corresponding exactly to the Megalodon's trail. Really? Mm -hmm. The points indicate reported sightings of the Megalodon. Now, there's something unique to this pattern. Sharks usually like to stake out an area and stay a while, a hunting ground. This path shows us that our Megalodon is moving and moving fast in a downward sweep. This pattern was unique, so I got a little curious and overlaid water temperature grids and seabed inversions and discovered this. Our shark is moving through a warm current of water originating from the Mediterranean where it first appeared. This tracks exactly with the reported sightings. Now, I believe that the shark will stay on this warm current of water because he's heading here. Sydney? Mm-hmm. Roughly two million years ago, this was a megalodon spawning ground. How in the world did you know that? Oh, fossils dug up from the sea floor confirm it. We have found literally millions of baby megalodon teeth spread out across a 10-mile radius. Also, our megalodon was most likely born here, making it an instinctual spot for him to return to. So he's about a mile or so from Sydney? Yes. Which would make it the closest it's come to land since the Port of Alexandria attack. Now, if I were you, I would concentrate all I had on the waters off of Sydney, because if the Megalodon gets there and he does not find anyone to mate with... He's not going to be a very happy boy. Mm-mm. No. Given the scale of this event, 
evacuation. How prepared are you to deal with this many people? We are prepared and trained for all kinds of different situations. So you're saying that the preparation for this evacuation is similar to preparing for an evacuation after a large-scale earthquake, for instance? Exactly, but in this case, if people stay calm, we can evacuate everyone to safe areas before a calamity has happened. Thank you, Sergeant Brooks. Back to you in the studio. And we're out. Thank God. What a load of crap. If they're evacuating a whole city, they must know it's headed this way. Let's hope they can keep it under control. Things could go bad very quickly. So tell me, Doctor, do I have a multi billion dollar fishing lure bobbing around on the ocean out there? No. No, it's not dead. It's got power. It just isn't doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. What'd you just do? Jack? Jack? Nero, what's happening, buddy? Thought we lost you. I am in control now. Okay, that's all well and good, but what happened? I am not certain. I am not used to these systems or circuitry. Nero, uh, run a diagnostic. Full checklist. Nero? Say the magic word, Jack. Please. Certainly, Jack. Sir, it's Dr. Green. Dr. Gray, that was fast. What's up? Admiral, Dr. McNeil is right. It's heading straight for Australia. Australia? Can you confirm that 100%? Yes, sir. I'm heading there right now. All right, we're going to have somebody meet you there. You can lend us a hand. We'll rendezvous with you there. Can you put Jack on the phone? Hey, baby. Did I just hear right? It's heading straight for Sydney Harbor. Look, I know you're gonna have your hands full, but just make sure you... I'm gonna be fine, Jack. Yeah, you will. I love you. I love you, too. Sir? This just came in. Redirect to these coordinates. Full speed. Yes, sir. What's up? Your wife came through. We're headed to Australia. How's Nero? I am operational, Admiral. Yeah, all systems check out fine. There's a glitch in there somewhere, but we don't have time to pull apart the motherboard and find out what it is. Damn straight. Nero, we're headed to Australia. Coordinates on the way down to you now. Copy that, Admiral. It's mating season, Jack. It's what? Major General Hogan. How's the evacuation proceeding? We've been at it for three hours. It's been difficult, but we're doing our best. Do we know when the Megalodon's gonna be here? We're not sure, General, but we know it's close. In order to be cautious, we need to keep acting quickly. I couldn't agree more. I've got a car waiting for you at Hangar 18. Straight ahead. Straight Thank ahead. You. Thank you. What's happening? We aren't sure, sir. We've just been told to evacuate everyone near the waterfront. Let's keep it moving! Sir, the Mega Sunk, the HMAS Hunter. Nero. Yes, Jack. Excuse me, miss. Miss, I really need your help. I can't find my daughter anywhere. 
what does she look like? Um, she's four seven. She's got blonde hair. She looks just like me. Um, she's wearing jeans. She's got a pink top okay. on. How old is she? Um, is she six years old? Okay. All right. You know she couldn't have gotten far. She Let's get some help. What is somebody? We're gonna find her. Hey, have you seen a little girl? She's about this tall, six years old. Her name is Stacy. Sorry, no, 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 no. I haven't seen her. Right, he's gonna take care of you. I'm gonna look over here. Hey, have you seen Good. a little girl about We're shipping out in 10 minutes. That's fine, go ahead. I'm not leaving without her. But Matt. Stacy? 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 Your mom sent me to look for you. I'm gonna take you to home. I'm gonna be okay. across the board, are you? Have you seen her? I've only seen you, Mom. I Without understand. proper I, credentials, I, I cannot you let can you move on. Run. Look, I I've know, I, I, I know what you. your orders are. I don't know if it's chat. Hey! Just let it go. So there's no chance he'll swim back out to sea? No, uh, I think he's in it for the long haul, I'm afraid. Listen, he knows the area instinctually, and I don't think he's going to be leaving without a mate. It's a characteristic of the Mega. That's all I can say. So what you're telling me is we have a 200-foot horny shark on our hands. Yeah, basically. Well, in a way, it's a good thing. We've got him in an enclosed area. We can finish the job here. No, no, no. Listen. There's not a lot of time, OK? What I'm trying to say is, if you don't find this guy a date really soon, you're gonna have one really aggressive beast on your hands. Thank you, Doctor. Nero? Oh, come on, buddy. What now? Oh, Nero's taking considerable damage and now I've lost all communications. Maybe a hard reset will fix it. No, no, it's too late. How do you know it's worth a try? It's too late. The neck has gone into drone mode. Which means what? What is drone mode? What does that mean? The programming has a failsafe built in. A survival program that allows it to operate independently of a control board, like a self-guided torpedo. Unfortunately, if the programming is malfunctioning, it'll do what it's tasked to do, but without the safety protocols. And I can't shut it off. Oh, my God. This is so not good. Come on, something work! Come on! I'm going on site. Stay 
States Navy. Sorry, sir, this area is off limits. Not for me. Sir, I am authorized to use force. Really? Go ahead. Use some force. You with the United States Navy? I am. Do you have identification? I just arrived on a giant robotic shark. Maybe you missed it. Look, I left my wallet at home this morning, but if you don't let me through, you are in for a very, very long day, mate. Very well. Thank you. Move! Move! Let's go! Keep moving! Keep moving! Jack! Sorry, buddy. What happened? Responding. So it's down for the count? No. It's thinking. Thinking? So that was the kill switch. Why isn't it working? Get me the president. What the hell is that? They had time to implement amphibious mode. in the morning. Right now, we have a job to do.
back in touch with Engelberg. Hello? Dr. Gray, I'm glad I found you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. I'm putting through an urgent call to you now. Okay, thank you. Hello? Oh, Rosie, there you are. What's going on? I'm watching the news. It looks like a mess. Well, let's just put it this way. The mech is not on our side anymore. You know, I feel like if you could just get him back out to the ocean and... Uh, God, I don't know. Okay. Well, the Meg is there to spawn, right? right? So, any male, he's gonna see as a threat. Right? Well, listen. I think that if you could draw the Mecca out to the water and find a way to piss off the Meg and draw him back to the Mecca, conceivably you could use the, the Meg to kill the Mecca. If you could trick the Meg into working for you, we have a chance. You know, use its spawning instincts in your favor. I have an idea. Okay, good luck. You're gonna need it. Jack. There was one on the left pectoral pod, which was crushed. Why? I have an idea. Which is what? Take this. Oh, what's this for? I'm gonna go inside. Your what? The high-frequency transmitters, Jack. That's what you said made the mega turn against the aircraft carrier, right? Oh, right. I can go in. I can trigger the pulse generator from the inside. It'll be easy. Well, Rosie, that's insane. Just get the shark back in the water, Jack. You must get clear of the area. Well, You can crawl out through the chum chute. That's the plan. I'm at the maintenance port. I'm going in. All right. I love you. I love you too. Sir, we're entering Sydney Harbor. Lieutenant, prep the depth charges. Sir! Sir! Death charges armed and ready. Drop everything we have on top of it. Burn the son of a bitch out of the water.
got it. to have incoming. Yourself, buddy. There was a systems crash. I am not registering a system crash, Jack. And that's because your system was hijacked by a drone mode overlay, which I was not aware of when I installed you. Then, then I am no longer in control, Jack? No, Nero. But listen, you can be. You have to try to regain control. You can trip the overlay. I understand. Okay, now listen. The system is going to try to boot you out, but it won't be able to because you're hard-coded. All you need to do is find out where it's centered, and you can override it. Locating. Hurry, please. I am in control, Jack. Great. Now listen, Nero. Rosie is in danger. I'm going to need you to empty the chum stores. All of them. I will do it, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
see. Engelberg, the fleet? I don't think they made it. How about you? How are you doing? I've had better days. Mm -hmm. I bet. I don't know what I can say to make this any better, but I do have this. What is that? This is Nero. I thought he was destroyed. All we gotta do is work out the king soon and he'll be good as new. But we'll worry about this later. Because right now, Rosie, we have got some explaining to do. Over a year since the last mega shark attack, and the global economy has yet to recover. Phobia of the oceans and a near total drop in commercial exports driving many nations to the brink of collapse. Our intent is Russia, whose oil trade dependence has jeopardized their position in world affairs. Desperate for resources, Russia has been accused of illegally mining rare minerals in the waters of other nations. Forced to take the lead in securing the oceans against the Megalodon's return, the United States has deployed state-of-the-art fleets and cutting-edge sonic defense systems to patrol their allies' shores, further agitating international relations. A fact compounded by an unidentified sonar contact off South America, which has some experts fearing the worst. successfully calibrated. Unicorn 1, buoy sensors are matching ours. Unicorn 2, we are green across the board. Copy that, moving to install last. The sooner we're done here, the sooner the unicorns can get back to hunting down sharks. That's what they were built for. Sonar contact, running IFF. Russian Registry, the Tyridium Lambda Class Trawler. The Soviets had trawlers too. Last thing they did was fish. Who knows what this one's up to? Unicorn! Weapons to stand by. Command to open a channel. Tyderium, you're interfering with a UN operation. Zadrži gruz, glupi Amerikanci podzavaj od nas. Order 66 of the Directorate Protocols authorizes us to blow you out of the water. Divert! Vitaskiu Glavni Trost. Our rudder is broken. Fuel low. Rio's in near port. Admiral, their rudder is broken, but we're detecting organic radiological compounds on board. Intel says Russia has been mining those compounds to try and synthesize red mercury. And the work, we're going to keep it that way. Sir, if we open fire, we will be declaring war. Tadirium, you have three seconds to come clean about your cargo. Jones. 
Расскажи им про красный ртут. Энергия для нас не чудеса. And be arrested for illegal mining. Any deviation, and we open fire. Copy that. The task we cannot in the five elites at Suda. The task we burned. We prepared to show you shield. Call it in, Commander. Get the course back to position. Let's wrap it up. Corrupted the whole sector is blind. Unicorn two, we were synced as well. We're in the dark. We need to reboot all systems. Get us back up, Commander. Coming online. No. No, that's got to be a malfunction. the Russian ship. It must have been attracted to the ore. Defense buoys are having no effect on it, sir. His head is straight for real. They thought the buoys would work. No one's been evacuated. Admiral. Unicorn Squadron. Permission to engage? It's just your two units. No external support. We know the risks, sir. Sir, this is a newborn Megalodon, a 30-foot-long baby. We won't get a better shot than this. Unicorn 1, intercepting. Unicorn 2, intercepting. Range to bogey 500 meters. Look alive, ladies! This is what we've trained for. Power to maximum, weapons online. Arming oxygen destroyer missiles. This close to shore, we'll be killing a lot more than the shark. What other choice do we have? Attack pattern, red five! Offline. 
aircraft the systems are down and we're taking on water. Try to locate. Unicorn 2 has attached itself to the shark. Unicorn 2 has activated her self-destruct sequence. She's gonna try and blow herself up with a shark. Shark has moved off the grid. This place is making the boys antsy, Benedict. I can't say I'm too keen on who we are meeting, either. The payday should ease their concern, King. Yours, too. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Bin Malik. So much harder, huh? You could say the same, I have. <laughs> What happened to the uniform? Ah, fucking Ukraine. They get very touchy. Russian special not set one foot on soil, so. I see. He still has you, my little Ramushka. If ever you look for a new job, you come to me. Okay? I have very many positions. I won't put you in. I'm sure you do. Very kinky. Very kinky, Ramushka. But business first. Sex and violence. Later. Maybe just the violence? Ivan. Not your usual excavation. Hard times? When shark come back, whole world act like uh, it's this Cuban missile crisis or some shit. Peoples think in the world. And in that desperation, there is opportunity. And I do love capitalism. It's supposed to be some kind of factory, yeah? Half of the world is looking for this place. This city lies out of the ashes of a dead country. To make ashes, you must burn first. Moscow, Kiev, St. Petersburg. No one can find. No how to find. Jealous, very cold. Keep reactors dormant. Ramushka, you want to keep you warm?
Fred Mercury, the ultimate power source. Soviet hijacked a long time ago. You want to be the hero? Get big gold medal on chest if he give to government or Russia. But Ivan prefer just gold. Hmm? How patriotic. <laughs> You said there'd be more. Benotic, Benotic, Benotic. Cash for half of the home. Hmm? Swiss account. Rest of the funds. My buyer's been waiting a long time for this. Uh, uh, uh. to control. Come in, control. Hold back. No signal. Our target is Benedict. Everyone want to kick your guns over here? Agent Tarmushka. <laughs> King to control. Move in, control. I should tell you that the uh, side effect of uh, Red Mercury is uh, scrambled radio waves. So, no good, huh? Fire! <laughs> До свидания, внучка. Кейт, что ты делаешь? Ты CIA. Alison Gray. <laughs> I suppose the world's more desperate than I thought. I recognize that irritating voice. Are they letting anyone onto these things these days? <sighs> I read your article. Oh, I wasn't aware you could read. Megalodon, deep dive defense. Terribly flawed piece of research, if you ask me. But you did make some good points. Had the Navy bothered to read it. Maybe those unicorn teams wouldn't have been sacrificed in vain. Listen. Excuse me. Thank you all for coming. I wish it weren't so. You've all been brief, know everything we do. And when I leave, I want to know everything you know about these damn sharks. Commander? As per protocol, we've reinstated the U.S. Marine Time ban. Unfortunately, some U.N.-ordered relief vessels were still at sea when it came down. Since Rio, we've lost a fishing boat off Mount Selena and a food aid ship near Liberia. This megalodon is growing rapidly and is moving at a much faster speed than any we've ever encountered before. Now, we blasted half the ice caps to find every last frozen shark. How did we miss this one? You didn't. The DNA is exactly like the last Megalodon. Clearly, it's a case of 
Parthenogenesis, would you not concur, John? No, I would not. Parthenogenesis has only been observed in four species of shark, always smaller animals and always in captivity. Yeah, asexual reproduction. <clears throat> a single egg producing a child that is a clone of the parent. You must have killed its mother right after it laid its egg. Christ, they can do that? Mm-hmm. Theoretically, and it's highly theoretical. Sir, we have a mayday off Cape Verde from a stranded ship. It's the Megalodon. F-18 of vicinity is en route. Damn it, on screen! three times as big as last reported. Give the order to fire. Sir, there are civilians. Who will either drown or be eaten with showing mercy. So one, you are clear to engage. Target destroyed. No sign of the mega shark. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned relief ships. What are they transporting? Primarily grain. Grain? Food? Food. Well, <laughs> of course, Admiral. The shark is gorging. Look at the victims. It's no coincidence. A trawler, a fishing vessel, and now this. It's the first signs of the shark's pubescence. It will only get larger and more aggressive as it matures. This morning, the entire US stockpile of reflex weapons was transferred to my command. Isotope warheads. I thought that they were banned. Not anymore. Whatever it takes to make sure this is the last. Now the weapons are too large for aircraft or drones, so we need to get in close. I need to know how to lure it. Don't you understand that every time you attack the shark, it simply reacts in self-defense? The damage is gonna be 10 times worse. And now you've added reflex Certainly weapons. you're not suggesting we ignore it. No, I'm suggesting that you isolate it. My research shows that using EM fields to confuse the shark's electroreception means that we can lure the megalodon out to the open sea. Your and therefore research is highly inconclusive and only based on small scale models. And to build a device that would contain a mega shark would take what, a year? And that's Six only, months. That's only if it works. By your own research, you admit that an EM field is as likely to provoke a shark attack as to repel one. That is only if the frequency is too the, strong. The UN directive the, the is clear. Frequency. I'm speaking. The UN directive is clear. Total extinction of the species. Doesn't make any sense. How, how can you learn Admiral, about the megalodon if it's... the shark wants to eat. And that is the key to destroying it. Well, no now, I it. may share my colleagues' concerns about environmental impact. Oh, However, possibly. if the UN is willing to forego a few procedural concerns, I have a plan that will ensure success. I want Dr. Bullock with us on my ship. Is that all right with you, Dr. Bullock? Do you mean I'm meant to go with you? Absolutely. No, sir, that's not a problem. OK, Commander Parker, will you please show Dr. Gray out? Thank you so much for your time. This man's ignorance about sharks may cause the end of mankind. This is crazy. This complete idiots. What am I supposed to do my work? Yeah, hello. I agree. They are idiots. We should talk. Who is this? Someone who wants to help. If you're interested, just step inside. <laughs> okay. Very <laughs> tall. Okay, let's go. Thank you. You were trying to end the world sooner than the shark and the Russians are. Congratulations. If you just let me nab Benedict and Ivan in Kazakhstan six months ago, none of this would have happened. They weren't the mission. 
We needed to get Red Mercury before the Russians did. Now that thing is walking it right up to its doorstep. How are we cleaning it up? We're not. We set foot there and it's a nuclear war. Good news is the eggheads don't believe that Russia will bring it down. So once it steps into friendly country, we get involved. There are already food shortages and riots. This will push these countries to collapse. Last I checked, those places weren't exactly friendly with us. And the president doesn't see it as a bad idea. That's worth thousands of innocent civilians dying. You've been undercover, what, 18 months now? Time for a break. I don't need a holiday. Well, let's call it what it is. Suspension with reinstatement pending review. Let this blow over. Stay out of trouble, and we'll discuss getting you reinstated. I'm sure I'll find something to keep me occupied. Sir, Dr. Gray. Thank you for coming, doctor. I am Joshua Dane, chairman and CEO of Dane Tech. I apologize for eavesdropping. I have a major stake in this discussion. Well, I can imagine the Megalodon must be wreaking havoc with your business. That's something my dad would have cared about, the bottom line. But I'm not him. And this isn't his company. Walk with me, Allison? <sighs> Certainly. This way. I think you'll be surprised. My father told me to make my mark, and so I am. No more making a dollar by poisoning the planet like he did. I don't understand. What does this have to do with the Megalodon? No one is seeing the big picture. The shark is part of the ecosystem. It keeps coming back because the Earth needs it to. But every time we try to kill it as quickly as possible, regardless of the toll. Admiral Jackson is going to destroy half the world by trying to kill the Mega Shark. But if we could capture it, unlock its secrets, we could develop lasting defenses that wouldn't be so destructive to the environment or ourselves. Maybe understand nature's role and what it's meant to play. The military would never go for a plan that let it live. No, exactly. You knew that? Yes. That's why it's down to us. That's why I need your help. I'd be honored. Which one of you is Spencer? Everyone else, scram. Today would be optimal. Colossus. Uh, it's a Soviet project from the Cold War. Uh, it's been abandoned for decades. It's a, an autonomous nuclear delivery system using red mercury as the fissile material, which is kind of ironic because the whole thing started as an alternative energy experiment. Uh, it's a myth. At least it was. I was the only guy around here who believed it was real. Make no mistake, it's a weapon. More powerful than anything the world has ever seen. How does it work? See, the, uh, the Soviets, they, uh, they thought our SDI programs could... Uh, thought our SDI programs could shoot down any nuclear missiles, so they, uh, they built a bomb that could walk. Uh, a literal smart bomb that can negotiate any terrain and fight its way to the target. Which is where? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Colossus isn't a one-shot deal. It's got enough red mercury in it, it can blow itself up a thousand times over. Eventually, everywhere is gonna be its target. How do we stop it? <laughs> it's a doomsday machine. You don't build those with an off switch. There's always an off switch. Abramov. Dr. Sergei Abramov. He's the guy who designed it. If anybody knew, it'd be him. Where is he? Yeah, well, that's the question people have been asking for 35 years. Say he sabotaged the project, and then he just disappeared. Go on. Where are we going? A walk behind the Iron Curtain. Oh, no, no, 
No, we need to be going in the opposite direction, as, as far away from Colossus as possible. If this thing is as bad as you say it is, it won't matter where you hide. So you can either die trying to help me fight it, or you can die hiding under your desk searching for your balls. I'm not a field agent. I've failed every practical exam. And we'll start with an easy lesson. How to steal a CIA plane. Invisible to the mega shark, but like the Navy's new ships, she's a lot harder for it to see. The hull, sustainable biocomposites, stronger than steel. She can go anywhere on Earth and hold her own. But what I'm most proud of is our latest improvement. Ha! With your EMF generator, what? we can lure it away from populated areas and even potentially what? control it. Impressive! How did you build one so fast? We started last year after you emailed yourself the schematics. Wait a minute. You hacked my email? I'm sorry, but we needed to be ready in case the shark came back. But that is... Did you see anything, you know, compromising on my computer? You didn't have anything else. The Mega Shark's your whole life. Yes, the Megalodon is my whole life. You say that as if it's a negative. Commander? Full fleet is 500 meters offshore. USS Ladd is laying Chana as per Dr. Bullock's directions. We have clear channels from harbor. Dr. Bullock, are you sure this will work? It is a simple beast, Admiral. And we are ringing the dinner bell. Calibrating the EMF generator to my specs. USS across the fleet, I want final ambush formation in 30 minutes. That's Captain Jackson. We're intercepting his communication? That helps when you're the guy who makes all their systems. <sighs> Looks like they're setting up a trap in the Bay of Gibraltar. Dean, there's over a million people there. We'll never be able to get them out in time. It's time to see if your device works, Doctor. It works. Is that our shark? No, sir. It's a ship. We're being hailed. Admiral, it's Dr. Gray. Admiral, we have a working EMF generator. If you allow me to try my plan, it'll eliminate the risk to civilians. And to your fleet. She cannot be allowed to chase it back into the deep sea. Commander, open the channel to the fleet. Make sure Gray can hear me. This is Admiral Jackson. We're about to engage Mega Shark. The structure of our quarry is our only priority. The safety of any objects in the line of fire, including civilian vessels, are to be disregarded. Sound general quarters. Reward without risk, right? DK421, you have unauthorized entry in our airspace. You are to land at nearby designated airstrip. We are authorized to open fire. Oh well. Sir, sonar is picking up unusual contact. It's here. All ships hold fire until it's in the shallows, then cause Ragnarok. We'll have 
Get us close. It's surface. Hold. Hold. Where in the hell did it go? the shark away from the civilian population. We'll help get us closer. hurt you or your husband, we would have let the Megalodon do it. Husband? Spencer. How long have I been out? Oh boy, about six hours. You a doctor? No, no, I'm a marine biologist. Do you have a problem with that? Nope. And he's always wants you to lie down and get some rest. I want you to lie down and get some rest. The shoulder's been dislocated, so I'm just gonna wrap you up in some gauze, okay? I figured. Easy to pop back in. What? No. I've got some gauze here. <laughs> you might want to hold off on doing Ah! I didn't need to see that. I guess I'm following you. Okay. Status, Commander? Positive center contact, sir. Does it match our prey? Aye, sir. A humpback whale. Just like Dr. Bullock wanted. Have the men ready to harpoons. Fire when ready. King! You are not gonna believe whose ship we're on. And they're chasing the Megalodon! Joshua Dane, pleased to meet you. Moira King, and I don't have time to BS you. We are with the CIA and we need your help. CIA? We're not exactly by the book. We need you to help us get to shore. We're on a very important mission. It's not as important as ours. 
No, try the Colossus. It will lay waste to every major city unless we find the man who built it. Abramov. You're looking for Abramov, right? How do you... I didn't tell him that. We've picked up his name all over the Russian data nets. What are they saying about Abramov, exactly? Well, in the last six hours, they raided an orphanage in St. Petersburg, a dormitory at Moscow University, an apartment building in Volkograd. Those are all places he used to live, uh, even as a little boy. That's a bit of a stretch, don't you think? No, 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 no. It's this, it's this thing he said before he disappeared. Uh, uh, when Colossus walks, I will return home to join Perilos in hell. Perilos? He was an ancient Greek blacksmith. He built a torture machine. The king was so disgusted with him, he put him inside it and burned him alive. So Igramov wants to be killed by his own invention, and the Russians think he's waiting at an old address. Why didn't I see it? Alcesti. Abramov was raised in Russia, but he's a war orphan. He's Romanian by birth. His family farm is just outside Balcesti, and Colossus is headed right along that path. So Colossus is programmed to nuke there first. We have got to get there right away. All right, I think I have a solution. King Spencer on me. Qualified to fly one of these too, huh? Nope. Sir, the whale is loaded with C4 and towing. Permission to speak freely, sir. Always, Commander. Sir, some of the men are having reservations about this new tactic. Frankly, so am I. The shark would eat far more than this if it could, Commander. Dr. Bullock's plan was approved by UN Directive and myself. Rest assured you have legal immunity. Sir, it isn't legality that's the... Your objections have been noted, Commander. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Sir. Doctor, I hope this will be more effective than the last time. I do respect, Admiral, but my job is to bring the Mega Shark to you, which I have done already and will do so again. But I can only bait the hook. You, sir, must still land it. Fine. Let's go fishing. All right! Silent running! We don't want our engine giving us away! I can't hear! Sir. Right. Don't see a dead mega shark today. Helm silent running. Silent running confirmed. Sir, acoustic contact. Any second now, Admiral. Wait on my order to detonate. Detonate! Admiral Jackson, Joshua Dane. Commander Parker has informed me of your recent findings, Dr. Gray. This will keep happening. If you keep pushing it, it will get worse. Much worse. Look around, Dr. Gray. What do you think would happen if you somehow do manage to trap it? You think the UN will allow Mr. Dane to build a petting zoo for it? You think I would allow it? You say you can guide it, then help me end this. Pin it down, cage it so I can stab it in the heart once and for all. 
As a launch ready to take us to my ship, I want to be on the way in 10 minutes. Sir, I don't think we can load up all the dead bodies in that time. The shark isn't waiting for us to grieve, neither can we. You have your orders, Commander. I can't believe you're listening to him. Are you happy? You've got blood on your hands, as much as the Megalodon. Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Allison. <laughs> Resorting to violence. It's a sure sign you've lost the argument. Let him go. seeing a whole lot of farm. Well, I mean, it was a farm, 100 years ago. Obviously made some changes since then, you know? But... Well, look, if he's anywhere, he's here, right? Look, this would have been a well, right? Which means that would have been a stable. That would have been a meadow right there. And the farmhouse would have been there. Okay, let's go, homie. Doesn't look like anyone's used this place in years. Trespassing, okay. Stealing vodka? Be a problem. Dr. Abramov? No doctor here. Mujit here. Farm. Okay, our mistake. Just, there's a lot of books on quantum physics for a farmer. I use it. Private paper. You use the Argonautica too? Jason and the Argonauts, right? There's a story I like in it. It's the one about Talos. The man-made giant of bronze, you know it? Talos. Yeah. It's a hell of a bookmark. Tieperia. Tieperia. Yastal Smith. Razru. Shikilim. Mirov. Now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Oppenheim. Say this. When he see his first atomic bomb, detonate. I would have given anything to prove Colossus was real. Now I'd give anything if he wasn't. If I am this man, you know I deserve to die. Not if you're going to take the world with you. Maybe world that asks to make this machine, maybe this world does not deserve to live. When I was a young man, my country asks me to make the impossible. Secret known to few, I make red mercury, the power source, to help the people. Miri Druzba. Then I make the machine to destroy the people. Colossus. Colossus. The things patriotismus can make you do. What was her name? Anya. 
She was my secret. To protect her. But there is no secret from them. They think I tell her things. Like she is spying. And you know what they do to spies. Yes. So I destroy the research. Poison the lab. Then I disappear. They cannot give it new orders. They cannot make another. They cannot take it apart. So, so, they bury it. <laughs> Hoping it never wakes up. Mujiki. But why didn't you come forward when it did? Countries do not want disarmament. Countries want same armament, only more. I have made enough already. I don't want to start Colossus again. I want to stop it. If you help me, I promise you, I will put a bullet in your brain. If that's what you want. The controller I used in testing. Where? It is. Jackson is prepping his fleet for another attack. He's going to destroy the whole Middle East. Dave. I... Wilhelm, just radio the Admiral. Tell him we'll do whatever he wants. You can't be serious. What do you expect? Perry is only going to let this end one way. Don't you understand? There's going to be two and four and... There's going to be so many Megalodon that nothing in the world is going to be able to stop them. But we're supposed to save it. I... Listen. The planet needs another Megalodon, and somehow it will come back. But for now, we need to choose what side we're on. And you're choosing Perry's? I'm choosing humanity. Now, you told me that I was going to be in charge, and this is my call. This is my call. I'm sorry. Sir, what do you want to do? We go along with the Wilhelm.
Gray. Afternoon, Dr. Gray. You know the rules by now, I'm sure. We're willing to cooperate. We'll use the EMF generator to lure the Megalodon out to a spot where you can kill it. Glad you finally came around. Commander, have the fleet open up the formation. Aye, aye, sir. Profile that's consistent with the Megalodon. All right, Dr. Gray, stand by. Our shark is coming in from the southeast. Surround it with a fleet and blast it to hell from all angles. Use your frequencies to contain it to a half mile radius. We'll do the rest. To your formation. Dr. Gray, we need a tighter net! Sir, the fleet is in position. Circuit. The generator's down. Gray's EMF has gone offline. Massive damage reports to the Yedlin and the colony. The Lawson has completely disappeared. Doctor. Sailor. Let's go. ship's computer core. Sir, what are we doing? Sailor, what needs to be done? Oh my god. Guard the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Computer! Open up a remote command link to the Galatea. Access denied. Executive override. Lock out all of the crew. Computer system locked. Prepare Trident missile for launch. Weapons acting. Target is Mega Shark. what I had to do. And to make sure it can't be undone. Oh my god. This is madness. I was only in it for the money. I think it 
it was? Danger, Jackson. Are you out of your mind? Two. And it's Parker. Jackson's gone. No, I can't get through. But he's frozen the system. You've got five minutes to get as far away from here as you can. Can't you stop them? I built their communications. I can't control their nukes. Wait, unless... What, what, what do you need? I need more than five minutes. What are you doing? All right. I'm buying you the time. I'll leave the Megalodon away. You just stop that nuke. recognize you as a commanding officer. You have a few seconds before the missile's hit. Let's pray to God this works. I'm rebooting now! The Megalodon is out of the picture. The Megalodon has been contained, and that comes with its own set of problems. The President is being kept apprised of the situation with Colossus. Apprised? That's not good enough! I'm doing my best. Looks like you're on your own, Geek Chic. Spencer? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. 
Anya will show you. I don't know what it means. I don't know how to find her. Joshua gave you access to the whole Russian data net. And I thank Mr. Dane for that, but they didn't keep exact records on everyone they killed to cover up every secret doomsday project four decades ago. Then there must be something, something you're missing. There's nothing else. I failed, okay? There's a reason they put me in the basement writing reports, because I'm a failure. And now Colossus is gonna keep destroying everything because I don't... Spencer, let me take a look at that. The compass, but it's not pointing north. No, 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 it's, it's pointing to Red Mercury. Colossus. No, no, that would be in a different direction. This is pointing it's to... pointing to where it first got polarized to where Abramov invented Red Mercury. Where is that? Hang on. Part of this, it would be, uh... Commander, we have a location. I'm sending you a real-time satellite topography of the area. They built the ocean lab next to a cliff? It makes sense if you think about it. The Black Sea is merometric. You go 500 feet below the surface and there's no life and no oxygen. Nothing mixes. Therefore, if an experiment went wrong, you throw it in a trench and nobody would ever hear about it. Now to get down there, you don't have to have a sub on board, do you? Wait a minute, you have a sub? It's a small one. I think we're forgetting about the big problem. Right. We have to find some way to distract him. Commander! Unfortunately, with Admiral Jackson's attempts to nuke them and you dumping the Megalodon in their backyards, we're not exactly on the favorites list with the Black Sea nations. If the Navy steps in, we're liable to start World War III. You'll have to find another way. I think I have a plan, but I'm gonna need to use your VTOL. That cool with you? Yeah. Red mercury radiation. Dr. Abramov's parting shot. No wonder they abandoned the place. Slow yield. 
But if these things turn red, we're in trouble. So let's not overstay our welcome, huh? For more than one reason. It's Admiral Marshall Rowe. He used to make Colossus. Bunch of different symbols on each key. Sure. They had to make out of something, right? State-run factories, off-the-shelf parts that era. There's only so many ways it can look. We'll split up. Search faster. <laughs> Well, what the hell are you doing? You may find this difficult to comprehend, Allison. But I'm saving the world. <laughs> much, much better. Now, about those fuel cells.
you hired Benedict. Now you know. Control the sea and you control the world, Dad always said. Oh, oh, oh. This was your plan all along? You sabotaged my EMF generator, didn't you? That's why you went along with us. We have a winner! I knew I'd get my hands on Red Mercury eventually, but I, I couldn't let the Navy kill the shark until then. Colossus, <laughs> that's just a bonus. Uh, thanks to you, I now control the land and the sea. Why don't you kill us now that you're done with us? Trust me, Allison. I have no need to harm you. Not unless you force me to. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very important phone call to make. My name is Joshua Dane. Some of you may know me. For those that don't, I now control the Mega Shark and Colossus. Give me fleet headquarters. The Earth is dying. And for too long I have begged you to end the destruction your countries have brought upon it. Now today, I beg no longer. Today, I will save us. This may require the ultimate sacrifice for some. The most polluted cities will be destroyed so that we may start anew. Now believe me, this is a small price to pay for a sustainable future. So join me. You know what the response will be, right? Well, I, I had to give them a warning, right? Up, up, up. No, hold that thought. We are about to have guests. Right on time. <laughs> Russia, Ukraine, even the U.S. is showing up. Really, I'm bringing the world together. Command, permission to fire and destroy Dane's ship. Surf. Turf. Let's play. Joshua Dane's gone completely out of control. Shall we deploy maximum effort, sir? We must go to DEFCON 3. DEFCON 3. Everybody ready to go at a moment's notice. Let's deploy the Gibber. Yes, sir. Spencer, give me your hand. This is important. Don't scream. Wait, why would I scream? <laughs>
Copy that. Two aircraft. Okay. Party's over so soon? Officer of the deck? Yes, ma'am. Get a hold of the fleet. Tell them to stand down. They're deploying the Gipper. Aye, ma'am. The Gipper. I met the Gipper once, he... Reagan. Dad and I swam in his pool. The time that bastard was nice to me. Alley-oop! You'll probably throw nukes, and eventually you'll succeed in killing me, but that's bad for the planet. So, if I die, I will vent red mercury into the atmosphere and poison the air for, geez, I don't know, a thousand years? <laughs> that was amazing. Let's go. Surf?
My thumb is killing me. Do svidania. You know that means till we meet again, right? Yes, I do. Uh, Pat dies on me. Just got one request for this time, please. No seafood. Up, Spencer! 